So on 23, we want to find the equation of the line that passes through these two points. We're going to use two formulas. One is the slope formula. And the slope formula says, take the difference in the y's and divide that by the difference in the x's. And so we usually write it that way. So for us, this would be um, x sub 1, y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2, you don't have to do it in that order, it's just easier to be consistent, but 9 minus 5 over negative 6 minus a negative 4. So that's going to give you 4 over negative 2, which means your slope is going to be negative 2. Yay, we found the slope. Now we're going to use point slope, which is the formula that goes y minus y sub 1, equals m times x minus x sub 1. And so we plug everything in that we know. We know y sub 1 is 5. We know the slope is negative 2. Um, remember the y and x, just the plain ones with no subscript? Those are part of the, the formula, so they're going to stay what they are. Okay, and then we need to subtract x sub 1, which was a negative 4. I usually take the time to write y minus 5 equals negative 2 times x plus 4. And then I want to put this in slope intercept form. It tells me to. And then just adding 5 to both sides gets uh, the y by itself. And so we have y equals negative 2x minus 3. And there you go on that one. And so the next one, this is an absolute value function. Absolute value makes a V. Now, if you want to think of like your original absolute value, it's going something like something, something like this. I'm trying to draw it there. But it's a V shape. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to shift it 7 to the left, 7 left and 3 down. So take your vertex here, that point, that bottom point, and go 7 left and 3 down. And then make your graph from there. So you're going to have the V going up this way and going up this way. And we're kind of out of room. I mean, you could have a bigger piece of graph paper. But that would be then the graph, OK? So using our transformations to do that. This one might be a little bit trickier. This one is a um, square root curve. So that looks like, you know, you have a starting point and then 1, 1, 4, 2, and 9, 3. You could do a little table of values. That's what it looks like, pretty much. We do want that arrow on there. But this is going to be a negative 2. So it's going to reflect. It's going to flip up. Flip upside down, and we upside down, and it's going to have a stretch of two. Now, what you could do is a table of values. Um, that would help you get a better shape for the curve. And think of nice numbers you could put in. So zero is a nice number. You know the square root of zero. Zero times square root of zero is zero. Zero times negative two is zero. 1 is a good number. Square root of 1 is 1 times negative 2. 4 is a good number. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times negative 2. And 9 is a good number. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So then we graph those ordered pairs. 0, 0, 1, negative 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, and then 9, negative 6. So hopefully you can see it's a little bit stretched. And it looks like that. Okay. And is that the last one? I think so.